Alright, this is just a follow-up video to my three-phase converter setup. I've done some upgrading, so I thought I'd put that up here for you. Um, I needed to put in a three-phase panel because I was getting to the point where I was running out of room to connect stuff. So. so that's what we did. We brought 100 amps into this meter up here. It's our single-phase meter. 100 amp, 240 volts. And uh, this meter monitors our total power usage on the phase converter. The uh, phase converter is fed out of this box. And uh, we go down to the three phase meter right here. Our third phase comes in, ties in at this meter, and then it all comes out as three phase and goes into our breaker panel. Uh, got all of our breakers in here just like any other electrical panel. Uh, compressor lathe, we got a test disconnect, and our drill press and stuff. Uh, this box here is the test disconnect. It's just got a cord on it and a plug, and we just plug in whatever we're testing right here on the floor. Uh, and this is our 10 horse idler. That's the converter right there. And then we got a 480 volt transformer, uh, mostly for running lights and testing small stuff. Uh, we've moved the phase converter panel. It's now over here same panel. A little cleaner inside since we was uh, able to clean up the wiring here and uh, all the same contactors and everything. Starter capacitors down there. We'll go ahead and start this one up. All you gotta do is push the button and the phase converter starts right up. This one's pretty quiet. And then we can go ahead and switch the loads on. And I'll go ahead and turn on the compressor. And it sits in the back of the shop. It's back here. Typical compressor, it's noisy. And we got the lathe right here. And uh that's our three-phase power system.